Bakit hanggang ngayon hindi pa tinatanggap ng kampo ni Bongbong Marcos, ni former Senator Bongbong Marcos, ang announcement ng Korte Suprema tungkol sa kaso niya? Napansin natin na sobrang ingay na ngayon ng kampo ni Lenin Robredo at ang kanyang mga kapanig. Nagsasabi na silang move on, nagsasabi na silang uh, it's a victory, nagsasabi na sila. And the worst, most petty comment of course was stop acting like a spoiled brat. Really? Anyway. Ako po si Trixie Cruz Angeles, ito po ang Luminous. Nang hinain ni former Senator Bongbong Marcos ang kanyang petition sa Korte Suprema, he had three causes of action. And when you say a cause of action, ibig sabihin, ito yung mga uh, dinadala mong kontrobersya sa Korte Suprema para aksyonan nila. So these three causes of action was first, the, uh, were first, the electoral system itself, or the automated electoral system, also known as Smartmatic, ang kinokontest niya is the ability of this system to make an accurate count. Okay. Number two was the nullification of the of several areas for regions, as a matter of fact. Um, the nullification of elections in Barm, Maguindanao, Basilan, and Lano del Sur. And his third cause of action was the manual recount in 22 areas okay, which he identified and he paid for significant then later on under justice kagiwa who was the ponencia the original ponencia pinagbaliktad niya the third cause of action became now the second cause of action meaning it was the electoral system the nullification and uh, the sorry it was the electoral system and number two became the uh, manual recount. And number three was the nullification. Yung first cause of action, matagal na pong dinismiss. At sinabi, base dun sa ponensya ni Justice Kagiwa, na uh, for purposes of judicial economy, ipapasantabi mo na natin yung issue na yan. And we will go straight to the two issues that can dispose of the case. Meaning, pag dinisaydan nila either yung nullification or yung manual recount, mariresol ba naman yung action dito. Okay? Now, uh, nung na-decide na yung first cause of action, the next cause of action, of course, was the uh, manual recount. At nag-umpisa nga po ang pag -re ng tatlong pilot areas doot sa ano na inidentify ni Mr. Marcos. Meron din of course mga ano for both parties may mga representante sila to witness the revisioning of the of the ballots. Dahil maraming leakage sa media at may mga reports especially sa Manila Times nakarinig tayo na kada halos lahat ng mga ballot boxes or marami sa mga ballot boxes pag binubuksan lusaw na yung mga ballots uh, hindi na sila readable uh, basa um, uh, they were filled with garbage grass motor oil and other substances na nakasira ng mga balota Dun sa decision or dun sa draft resolution ni Justice Kagiwa, uh, according to the reports, sinasabing it was for dismissal dahil nga hindi makakagawa ng uh, walang ebidensya para i-overturn yung optical media. In other words, for a, count, a recount to be done, wala na yung physical ballots dun sa three pilot areas na yon. And in order to make a decision, what is your evidence? What are you going to count? So he was recommending to count the ones, the votes that were counted through Smartmatic. Meaning, yung optical capture ng uh, Smartmatic machines ang gagamitin for the recount. Fortunately, or unfortunately, we are not sure as of this time, uh, hindi sumang-ayon yung ibang mga justices. Nung hinain ni Justice Kagiwa yung kanyang recommended or draft resolution nung nagbutohan ng ibang mga justices with a vote of 11 to 2, if I'm not mistaken, with at least 2 abstentions, uh, natalo yung resolution na itinutulak ni Justice Kagiwa. Therefore, niriraffle na. 
na raffle po yung kaso kay Justice Leonen. So, but one year after Justice Leonen had obtained the case, hindi pa siya gumagalaw. So, late last year, dahil sa nakakailang motions to resolve na ang abogado ni, ni former Senator Marcos, uh, and after a public outcry was already happening, Justice Leonen issued an order. Yung order na yun, nagpapakomento siya sa Comelec at kay Solgen Kalida doon sa third cause of action. Uh, at nangako siya na lalabas yung kanyang resolution nitong Enero 2021. Totoo naman, lumabas ang resolution niya, he submitted it to the court and bank on January 12. Now, ano nangyari dun sa resolution sa second cause of action? Wala pa. Kasi nagpakomento nga si Justice Leonen on the third cause of action. So let's recap. First cause of action, dismissed. Judicial economy daw. Second cause of action, yung draft resolution, defeated. O, bago na yung ponensya. May bago bang draft resolution? Wala tayong nabalitaan. Instead, Justice Leonen asked for comments among uh, from the COMELEC and the Solicitor General. And finally, after nag-deliberate ang ating hukuman, lumabas na nga ang announcement saying, and I will quote only the second announcement, the Presidential Electoral Tribunal dismisses the election protest filed by Protestant Ferdinand Marcos Jr. for lack of merit. The counter-protest also filed by uh, Maria Leonor Leni de Amatuid Robredo is likewise dismissed. Bakit hindi ngayon tinatanggap ni ano ni Attorney Vic speaking on behalf of uh, former Senator Bongbong Marcos yung uh, announcement na ito or hindi sila sigurado sa announcement na ito. Ayon kay Attorney Vic, it's because ang dinidismiss dito is the electoral protest, sabi niya. So ngayon, bakit ganon? What is it? What does it mean? Sa batas kasi, ang electoral protest, yun po yung manual recount. Yun po ang nagiging ano, pagka nagprotesta ka, it means you're protesting the count and therefore the action to be taken is a manual recount in this case. Pero pagka in this case, Senator former Senator Marcos didn't fi just file a protest. He filed a petition with three different causes of action, only one of which will count as technically as an election protest. Okay? Yung first cause of action is not strictly a protest kasi ang kinikwestiyon niya is the automated electoral system. Dun sa second, it's not a protest because he wasn't asking for a recount because he was simply asking to nullify the votes in those areas. Uh, by the way, uh, after the dismissal of the first cause of action, dun sa third cause of action, tatlo na lang yung nullification. Tinanggal na po yung BARM, sabi moot. So, Maguindanao, Lanao del Sur, and Basilan only. So again, the first cause of action, not an election protest. The third cause of action, also not an election protest. Only the second cause of action is technically an election protest. And so, uh, correctly, Attorney Vic is saying, so it, it's probably just the second cause of action kasi yun lang ang election protest. Yung dalawa, o yung is first dismissed, pero yung third, it's not an election protest. If the dispositive portion or the, por the last part of the decision said, uh, dismisses the petition or dismisses the case, then it will be easy for the camp of Bongbong Marcos to accept the decision. So, hihintayin natin ngayon yung resolution, yung full-blown resolution ng Korte Suprema to settle the issue. Gayun pa man, uh, what is important about the case and what we must all remember about the case is that this wasn't just the win of Bongbong Marcos that was on trial, but Smartmatic as well. Because kinwestiyon dito yung automated election system. 
Ito po si Trixie Cruz Angeles. This is Luminous. Don't forget to subscribe.